yeah, so today I will be doing my May favorites. So first I have a foundation. And yeah, I still have my Revlon photo ready. However, thanks to that breakout, I wanted something with a bit more coverage. So I got the Revlon Color Stay. And this is a really great foundation. Thing is, I remember years ago, I used a Revlon foundation. I can't remember which one, I thought it might be this. I forgot like crazy. But since everybody raved about this, I went for it and I absolutely love it. This is for normal to dry skin. I'm in the shade 110 Ivory. The only thing I have a problem with, it doesn't have a pump. You just have to put it on your hand. And I hate wasting product. Next thing I have is a concealer and it is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. I am in the color 10 Fair. Once again, only thing I don't like is the packaging. It has this sponge tip and I don't find these things really hygienic. Still, it is by far the best under eye concealer I've ever used. Just really brightens it up, covers up those dark circles. It does not settle into fine lines. I hate it when concealers do that. It has Goji Berry and Haloxyl. I probably pronounced that wrong. Next, I have a couple of eyeliners that I've been loving. The first one is the Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Liner, and this is in Black Mauve Shimmer Ink. I don't know where they came up with the name though, because it's neither black nor mauve. At least not to me, it just looks like a nice dark brown with shimmer. I already swatched it. The other eyeliner I have is the CoverGirl Liquiline Blast in Blue Bloom. There it is, just a pure blue. Doesn't smudge. It does fade just a bit as the day goes on, but it's good for a drugstore liner. Next is the Revlon Colorstay Brow Enhancer. This is just the brown tinted wax for your brows. And this is a peachy highlighter. I got them both swatched right here. Now I'm lucky my brows are not really, really sparse, but this did make a difference for me. And the highlighter is just beautiful. I have brow on highlights. My next favorite is the Smashbox Eyeshadow in 35mm. It's a really nice peachy champagne. My favorite mascara has been the Maybelline XSL Pro Volume. It is one of those with the white on one end that you put on first, and the mascara is on the other end. Makes my lashes look great. And I finally figured out what the other XSL Pro is. There's the volume, there's lengthening, and there's also one called curl. I'm gonna assume that's supposed to make your lashes look super curly. Last makeup item is the Rimmel Lasting Finish by Kate Lipstick in 03. Great pink nude with a matte finish. I'm wearing it today. In fact, I'm wearing a lot of these products today if you want to see a close-up. This is a Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunblock with Helioplex. It's an SPF 45 since I am really fair. If you want your skin to look great, I personally think that putting on sunscreen is one of the best things you can. I know everybody says at least SPF 15. I'd say go from SPF 30. And this one does come in a variety of SPFs. I think the lowest is 30 and the highest is 100. Before I used this, I used Vichy's Capital Soleil. Great protection, but I did feel a bit greasy on my skin. And in fact, this is cheaper than that. All right, now for nail polish. Sally Hansen Maximum Growth Plus and Tangerine Joy. And I think it actually did make my nails stronger. Usually when polishes say that, it doesn't work, but it did. My favorite snack this month has been the Lint Swiss Classic White Chocolate. I'll admit it, I have a chocolate addiction. I seem to be the only one in my family who actually loves white chocolate. Although my favorite type is with hazel. This is super good. And I've eaten over half of this. I don't know how long ago I opened it. A week, maybe more than that. And yes, they also do have other varieties like milk chocolate, dark chocolate, chocolate with hazelnuts. My favorite book is actually one that I think many of you already heard about. Fifty Shades of Grey. It's by E.L. James. I will warn you, it's got a lot of crazy sex scenes in it. So if you're under 18, you may want to wait. This is so good. I stayed up a few nights late reading this. I'll put it down. So basically it's about this girl named Anna and she goes to interview an entrepreneur named Christian for a school newspaper. Immediately, there's just this like attraction and chemistry between them. Let's just say things get pretty crazy from there. So anyways, those are my May favorites. 
Hope you enjoyed this. That's all I've got for you now. I love you, and you'll see me soon. Bye! Goji berries, I never heard of those before. I wonder if you can eat them. I have the Revlon colors. Here is the Smashbox I It still drives me crazy that these colors do not have names. Seriously, Rimmel? I think my mom was just yelling at my cat. Too bad that didn't get caught on camera. Is it weird to include sunscreen in a favorites video?